And welcome to Movies and Mud Masks, the show where comedians take time out of their busy schedules to come and hang out because work is yucky. Let's see who's in my bed today. Who is it? G'day, mate. <laughs> it's Dan Rosario. How are you, cuz? Did I put too much of this mask on and I'm tingling? It's a little bit. Tingling hard. You already hard. signed the NDA, so you can't sue us. What film did you bring with you today for oh, us 50, to watch? 51st Dates. And why is this your favourite? Adam Sandler Goat, straight up. Adam Sandler Goat. Um, good at stand-up. Predicted, predicted the future, multiple occasions, Adam Sandler. Rob Schneider. Um, it's just a cracker movie, bro. A classic. And also, it's like my version of a rom-com. Mm. I'm not pulling out... You're not doing a Love Actually or like even Valentine's that. Day. Or you're I'm like not pulling out Titanic, bro. <laughs> you know what I love about these Adam Sandler movies? What do you love? It's like... <laughs> He's like, okay, let's make a movie. And all my friends are in it. All my friends are in it. And where is it? It's in Hawaii, a tropical paradise. And what is your job? Oh, I'm like a dolphin expert. Like, you oh, know what I mean? I know. It's always in Hawaii or like um, some like really tropical vacation. Because he, he pretty much said, he's like, I pick the vacation first and then come up with the script second. How many times have you seen this film? Oh, when I was, this is one of those movies that when you stay home from school, you watch it 18 times. Oh, yeah. So, like, hundreds of times, probably. Mm. But it's a good movie. What was your stay-at-home... My stay-at-home, like, movie? You win over and over again. Um... A bit rogue, but I loved... We, like... I would just, like, watch any DVDs we had. Yeah, and we same. had, like, Fight Club. So I watched it when I was, like, eight. Oh, brutal. And I watched it and I was like, oh, my God, this film is so good. Mm. And then Grease 2, randomly. Fight Club, Grease 2, it's all downhill. I was a big Shrek 2 guy. Yeah, Shrek, Shrek is two. so good. Yeah. So Dan, I wanted to ask you, a lot of your videos, particularly like your earlier videos, they like poke fun at like Melbourne's Doof scene. Do you get swarmed when you go to Doof's now? Because I imagine it would be like watching, like seeing Daniel Radcliffe pop up in like the Harry Potter theme park. That's what happens. Yeah? That's why I stopped going. Really? Bro, these people are cooked. At a doof, you're like trying to like vibe out, and people are coming up to you, touching you, asking you questions. So you're not going to doofs anymore? I haven't been doing doofs in three years. I'm done. Uh. I'll put the money. Wait, what's happening here? He's meeting Drew? Oh, and she doesn't remember him because she has memory loss. She was a bit of a spunk, eh? She was, she was a bit of a spunk. I love Drew Barrymore. So you mentioned, um, you've mentioned previously on a podcast. What the f you. <laughs> I've done you, research. Cause you know me. No, but I need you to just ask me. <laughs> no, I want to, I have to do research. I did journalism at RMIT, what of it. Um, but you said that you decided to be a comedian at Boom Festival no, in that's Portugal. Incorrect. That's incorrect. Okay, when was, the, when was the moment you realized? I was in Mykonos. <laughs> Because you previously said it was in, it was a boom. I just talk shit, bro. I don't know what I'm fing saying. I'm light on his podcast. I've got some little rapid fire questions for you. Let's go. So, number one, would you ever, I think I know the answer to this, would you ever date a fan? Why are you, why are you gonna make me look like Drake on this <laughs> podcast, bro? <laughs> why can't I just look like a normal bloke? What's the worst date you've ever been on? Um, worst date I've ever been Apart on. Apart from this. This is a cute date. <laughs> I'm getting fed, I'm getting drunk. I oh, know, I'll take my Habibi, I'll take good care of him, you know? <laughs> I don't want to look like a wet rat. Um, oh, worst oh. date ever had mm -hmm. was in uni. When I went on uni, I went on a date, a blind date, and it was not Was good. it with an Aussie chick? Who's yeah. Oh. And I I lied and told that my, I got, oh my God, I'll be back there. And so my friend's been in a car accident, I left her on the street and ran away. Oh my god, you yeah. pretended to be in a, like your friend was in a car accident. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't date too many people now. Yeah. That moment in uni scarred, scarred me. Scarred you? Yeah. What are your like biggest icks? Biggest icks? People who talk shit about their friends. Yeah. Because then know, you're like, well, what are you going to say about me behind my back? Not only that, it's like, what, this is how you treat your friends? You f <laughs> I'll f Imagine if you meet someone and they're automatically talking to their friends. Like, why do you think I give a f to this, first of all? Yeah. And also, another ick, people who are like, um, 
when you hang out with them, they're on their phones and stuff. Yeah, that's a big ick. Where's the worst place to be recognised? Bro, at the <laughs> STD clinic. That happened once. <laughs> <F> <laughs> me. What happened there? And I wasn't recognised from comedy. I was recognised from my <laughs> mum's workplace. It's <laughs> brutal, cuz. Who was it? Let's not get into the details. Oh, okay. But yeah, I've never had an STD. Put that on f camera. <laughs> He's never had an STD. And I'm glad had, that you're mentioning that I just now that a, we're sharing a bed. I had a couple of scares once. Oh yeah. I mean, who doesn't, you know? Yeah. What's well, good you're getting checked? Oh, this is the montage scene where he's showing all the different ways he oh. tricks the disabled lady into falling <laughs> in love with him. Your recaps are just fucking depressing. And he's like pretending to be... Oh my this God. is severely... Oh, he's like trying to get her to remember. Also, yo, she had like a really bad accident in the car and f***ed up her memory. Yeah, have you seen her f car? Looks like a... Looks like a piece of Looks like a Tonka truck. Yeah. I'm surprised she's not dead. Mm. Okay, so I wanted to play a game of Would You Rather. Hook me up. Hook you up. All right, so for the first one, would you rather mm. date Rihanna or all of the Bratz dolls? Because Dan once said he's only attracted to women who looks like <laughs> who look like Bratz dolls. <laughs> you making me look like a misogynist <laughs> rat, cuz. <laughs> Come on, bro, you know what I mean? I'm not no. only date chicks who look like Brad Stolls. No, that's just like a preference that you have. That's not a preference. <laughs> no, you know what it is? I wouldn't date Riri because ASAP Rocky's a bad <laughs> bastard. But what if he wasn't involved though? Like, oh, I, I, I date Riri, we just wouldn't work out, bro. Would you rather open for Carrot Top or Chopper when he did stand up? What do you mean when? I gigged with Heath Franklin like two months ago. No, 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 the real chopper did stand up. What, the actual murderer? The the murderer did stand up. On Open the day. That's my favourite movie. <laughs> Is it really? Chopper's my favourite movie. Why don't we chuck it on today? Yeah, that's a real romantic thing. That's a real... This is how he, this is how he cuts the head off. The f I reckon his crowd and your fan, like, they would vibe. They would kind of, there would be overlap. Yeah. Have you seen that movie? No. That's the best movie I've ever seen. Really? Vince Cosmo and Chopper. Vince Closer, if you're watching this, I want to work with you, cuz. <laughs> um, and lastly, I want to ask, out of all the characters in Fifty First Dates, which one do you reckon would be the worst audience member at one of your shows? That <laughs> with the one eye. What's his name? That bloke who looks like me. There he is, right there. What would he say? I just start talking to him, he'd start talking to me. I'd call him a crackhead version of me. He'd love it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me today. Cheers. Oh, salute. Salute. Cheers. Eye contact. Oh. Ah. Oh, he's done. <laughs>